A federal appeal judge decided that the federal government should stop lifting razor wire barriers from the Texas border. The decision is temporary measure. While legal struggle against obstacles continues an admission that the federal government should wait to remove obstacles until a federal judge makes decision on issue. The defendants like to damage, destroy or intervene in Texas. Texas Concertina Wire Fence near Texas. As stated in the complaint of Texas during the clearing of this objection. Since terrestrial and floating razor wire barriers, Abbott has ordered them to be placed in Middle Rio Grande as part of Lone Star Operation in September. Greg has been subject a court war between Abbott and federal government. Considering ongoing disaster on southern border due to deliberate actions of federal government. Every step we have is needed to take more than ever. Considering ongoing disaster on southern border, he added. His allies, including Abbott and Paxton, tried to pursue President Biden a open border policy, despite the possibility of deporting immigrants under the Biden. Although they were deported more than former President Trump, the federal government, who claims authority to regulate border policy and countries traveling waters, ordered state to remove obstacles and in September, a federal appeal judge admitted that claim that state had invaded did not usurp federal authority. However, Paxton had better chances when he challenged his movements to destroy concertina wire established by Texas along the border by Federal Department of Internal Security. Paxton filed a lawsuit against the federal government in October and also asked the courts to stop his sidewalks while playing. From there, Paxton's case was followed familiar zigzag for border and abortion cases rejection of the state's allegations made by a local federal regional court. And then higher court state the first decision in case determined that U.S. is planning to prevent U.S. Government repeatedly destroyed an exercise and and surrounding but still rejected efforts of state to prevent abolition of obstacles on grounds that federal had dominant immunity on border issues. This is an idea that Fifth Circuit showed some sympathy at beginning of this month. Court decided to remove floating obstacles of Rio Grande's international waters on Tuesday. However, Fifth Circuit decided that state's case was much stronger for barriers on land and that federal government should stop lifting thorny wire barriers while lawsuit was played. Although federal did not decide whether government has protected only authority in implementation, court found that claim that it has dominant immunity userind on such issues was not as strong as federal could continue to remove obstacles while continuing. The court had good case as a owner INA to place barriers of region in region. And this gave a strong possibility of strong success in final legal decision.